¿Qué pasó con el otro? No te rompas, pendejo, lo dejé en la casa. Y les digo, de aquí para acá, chingan a su madre. ¿Qué? ¿Y qué nos va a ese güey. Y de aquí para acá, son pendejos. ¡Eh, hey, gringo! ¿Hablas de español? No, sir. Pardon, pero yo hablo un solo poquito español. <laughs> poquito. ¿Habla inglés? Oh, sí, gringo. Hablo mucho inglés. Sí. Hablo filthy fucking bean eater. Hablo slippery little Mexican. Oh. Hablo little piece of shit. shit. <laughs> ¿Comprende, amigo? ¿Comprende? Hey, what are you doing here, gringo? I don't remember inviting you to my country. I don't think you did, amigo. I mean you no harm. <laughs> you mean us no harm? This is funny. <laughs> what harm could you do to us exactly? <laughs> Nothing, amigo. Now, I appreciate the welcome committee, but I'd hate to spoil a beautiful afternoon on such beautiful land, any further unpleasantries. If you'll excuse me. Uh, hold it, Gringo. I think you're forgetting something. A little taxation. <laughs> <laughs> I have a large family. Very big. <laughs> I too have a family friend. So that we may see our families again, I suggest we part ways amicably. <laughs> <laughs> Can I see the boots, gringo? I think you can see them from where you're standing just fine, senor. Take off the boots, americano. As you wish. Very good. Very good indeed, sir. What a great way to improve border relations. An illiterate farmer crossing the river, coming into their civilization and butchering the local peasants. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Don't mention it, old man. You kill peasants, you become a peasant. I never aspired to be anything more. <laughs> A socialist, huh? No wonder you left America. Not many things. Most of them bad. But a man of political principles? No. Well, then I fear Mexico may not be for you, sir. Don't you worry about me. Oh, but I do worry. An angry man a long way from home? A man who handles a gun as sloppy as you? I can handle a gun okay, partner. As long as you're killing quail or peasants. But if you have to face another man, you don't stand a chance. And you do? Can show you a few tricks. Come with me. Hold on. What's your name? <sighs> that doesn't matter anymore. And you? I never had a name, mister. I was raised in an orphanage. <laughs> a real American, huh? Wonderful. Just wonderful. <laughs> Well, you won't make it in the circus, but you can shoot. Keep on practicing. Thank you, old man. Now, who are you? No one interesting. Who are you? Landon Ricketts. Not a name that means much anymore. It means a little. You were famous when I was a boy. Yeah, killing men's a strange kind of fame. I was the fastest in my time. I must have been. I'm the only one left. What are you doing here? Living quietly. Waiting. For what? I don't know. And you? I'm looking for a couple of men. Bill Williamson, Javier Escuela. <sighs> Escuela's from here. It could be. This whole place is teeming with a... With Americans on the run, 
Mercenaries, locals hell-bent on revolution. Revolution? Another one? Yeah. Never really ends. This whole place has been a hotbed for revolution since before the Spanish left. Now there's another local guy running around promising the peasants their freedom. Ah, just like the last two or three. Local government? Foul bunch. Colonel Allende, he runs this place like a feudal king. He's an awful individual. Is that so? Yeah. Until someone puts a bullet in his head. Come on, let's get back to it. You gotta keep that back straight. Otherwise, it makes the gun jump. See if this Schofield makes a difference. Now that's a real gun. Well done. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Follow me. We're gonna try something a little more challenging. The birds around here are always raising hell. Scavenging and scaring the life out of the locals. I say we put your newfound skills to the test while doing a public service for the good people of Chuparosa. Here we'll do. I'm gonna scare up some birds. Let's see if you can take down more than one at a time. Forgotten by now. I heard many a story when I was a boy. Still do sometimes. What, these days? I find that hard to believe. What do people say? Oh, you know how them conversations go. Fellers arguing over who's the toughest, who's the fastest, and who shot people in the back. I place good money on me still being the fastest. Is that so, old man? Hi, Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts, por favor, senor. Our back wagon's under attack just outside of town. We need your help again. Whoa, slow down, Ramon. We'll take care of it. Thank you, senor. Again, you are the savior of this town. Well, my friend, are you ready to take a less theoretical exam? Sure. I don't think I ever rode with no savior before. <laughs> Let's haul out. Time we put you to work on some bigger prey. Long story. We used to ride together. We was all friends once. Only a buzzard feeds on his friends. There must be a high bounty on their heads. What would you do if somebody took the people you love and told you they'd die if you didn't do as they asked? Look over there. They're in trouble, all right? Come on. No more. You're a long way from being a landed Ricketts partner, young, old, or otherwise. All those stories you heard as a boy were true, you know. Dios mío! Viene mar! Estamos
Sano y salvo. Nunca podré agradecer lo suficiente. Buy me a whiskey later, and we'll call things about even. Están robando viajeros en las montañas de Endidura. Muy interesante. Gracias, amigos. Mr. Marston, how the devil are you? I'm fine. How are you, Mr. Ricketts? I'm good. I'm glad you're here because these men were just telling me about Mr. Escuela. Javier Escuela? Emilio, let me ask you something. His nombre is Javier Señor Escuela? Is Javier to see? No sé, señor. <sighs> he doesn't know. I got that bit. Ask him, was he about five foot eight? Mustache? Did he have an American in tow? A big American? Emilio, the Stabacon, uh, grindy Americano? Yo no sé. No. Ag again, I got that. But they do have his sister. Emilio's, I mean. She's a fine young woman, a teacher, a human being. Not the clothed vermin so many people seem to have turned into. Tell him I'm sorry. When a man's family is involved, you need a little more enthusiasm than mere apologies. I have enough worries, sir. This man's problems pain me, but they're not quite my own. Those who sit on the fence make a choice in their own way. Don't you think, Mr. Marston? Of course. And what about you, Ricketts? A man living in the past? Man who ran away from home? What choice did you make? I'll tell you what choice I made. I'm a fighter, sir, and I'll fight to the end. I think we should get going. I'm going to take the train. You can come with me or ride ahead to El Matadero. I've been hearing some things about you, John Marston. Really? That perhaps you're more in need of my help than I thought. Is that so? That some recent encounters with this Bill Williamson fella haven't gone exactly in your favor. Funny how everyone seems to know my business, but nothing about the men I'm looking for. It isn't easy getting the locals to talk. It's the only way to travel, so they keep telling me. We'll get off at Casa Madrugada and ride from there. Come on, horses are over here. All right, let's head to El Matadero and see what they know about Luisa. Come! We need to find a man called Carlos. I was told he could help us. We'll ask around when we get there. 
but we don't want to draw attention. See if you can keep your gun holstered for once. You're the hero around here, Mr. Ricketts, not me. What does the army want with this Louisa girl anyway? She's a rebel, and apparently close to their leader, Reyes. She's a pretty young thing. That's normally reason enough for Alinde. So I've heard. She's a good woman, a teacher. If they lay a finger on her, I swear I'll feed those bastards their balls. Looks kind of sleepy, don't it? Come on, easy up now. Whoa, there. All right, let's find this Carlos guy. Carlos. See. Si. We're here for Luisa. Is she still being held up in the caves? Yes. She's still up there. Who's the cowboy? We're here to help. Mm, muy bien. I can distract the guards. You and the gringo can get inside. Let's do it. I will keep them talking, senor. The rest I will leave to you. Hope you're ready for this. Get out there. Quieres un golpe? Pues avísame. Looks like we might need a little dynamite to get it open. Keep watch while I get it ready. Stand back, damn it! Here goes! Come on, boy! Poor girl's barely alive. Right, let's see if we can all get out of here in one piece. Just give it up! Imbeciles! 
balas lo dejarán ni malo. Can I have this? Looks like Carlos left us some horses. Come on! Come on! Come on! He was meeting us here. I hope he's coming. I don't want to wait longer than we need to. There he is. Talk about cutting it fine. Come on! Luisa, gracias a Dios. Thank you for saving me. You're a good man. Friends of the people of this land. Was someone named Harvey Gasquela one of the men holding you? No. I don't know. I don't think so. But I remember that name from prison. Bad people spoke of him. I told you Johnny's still in Mexico. Okay, then. I guess we'll keep looking. Esos podemos retirar a mi cuarto y conocernos mejor, ¿eh? No me toques. Me gusta la No tengo nada. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, I thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Mr. Marston. How you keeping, sir? Just fine, thank you. And you? Oh, very well, sir. Thank God my wife died. Unlucky in love, lucky in cars. Cars on. Champagne for everyone. Keep playing, Mr. Ricketts. Oh, I'm sorry, Herr Muller. I'll keep playing you in servitude for the rest of your life on Earth, if that makes you happy. Yes, I shall indeed, sir. Well, then, your deal. <laughs> oh, Marston, would you like to join us? 
I don't think so. I'm just gonna have a drink. Oh, come on. Sit down. Sit down. Okay, then. Gentlemen, hey. Namakshan! What convenient timing for a friend to join, Mr. Ricketts. I'll be watching you. Not for me. Nothing like a game of poker to warm the soul. No, thank you. You too must think I'm a fool. <laughs> now, ain't that something? Muller, we might have to send you off prospecting for more silver soon. That's me out. I fault. A drinking man's luck never lasts, Mr. Ricketts. We need a new deck. Looks like the table has turned. You fucking cheat! Excuse me? You fucking looked in my fucking carts, you fucking cheat! Now, Herr Muller, let's calm down. There must be some mistake. There's no mistake. Your Yankee friend here is a fucking cheat. Easy there, Germany. Calm yourself down. Oh, yeah. You know exactly what you did. Yeah, I know exactly what I did, friend, which was nothing. Now, I'd prefer it if we could all play a friendly game and no one get hurt. You, you planted this guy, Ricketts. Now, why would I do that? I've already beaten you. Now, calm down and let's finish the game. There's no, no more cards game. Ease up there, friend. There must be a name for this. An impasse, sir. An impasse. We could all die here and now. I'm not fighting you, Ricketts, but the Yankee him I don't like. He's done you no harm, Muller. He's done me no good either. Outside, winner takes the pot. The winner will take what he wants. The other man will be in no position to argue. Sanchez will be my second. As you wish, Germany. As you wish. Walk with me, John. I want to make sure you know how this is going to work. A duel is all about timing. If you pull your gun too soon, you'll be less accurate. After you draw, pick your shots carefully, like I showed you. Once you've picked your marks, the rest, my friend, is in the hands of fate. Let's get this over with! Steady now, partner. Stay calm. I'll show you what happens to filthy cheats! <laughs> Old Muller always did play his cards too early. Come on! We've earned ourselves a drink. I think Mr. Muller's buying. Your health. <laughs> you, uh, the man they call Marston, see? <laughs> you like killing? Watch me cut her throat. Nice friends you got here, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> to you, Marston. Eh, peleamos ahora, eh? We fight now. <laughs> you better not miss, partner. Oh, Dios mío. Oh, madre mía. No, por favor.
say, you tourists certainly bring peace and prosperity to this land. Then again, I doubt Muller will be missed. He wasn't much of a poker player. <laughs> hey, Gringo. Mr. Ricketts, <laughs> come on in. Sit down and have yourself a drink. Sure. Say, any word of Javier Escuela? Uh, no, nothing yet. Say, why are you after him anyway? We're old friends. We was kind of educated together. <laughs> so what is this, some kind of high school reunion sort of thing? Something like that. Well, well you've killed people. You live the life. <sighs> that I have. And I tried to stop. I mean, I don't know. I tried to go straight. I did. I left the gang after the gang left me. Left me to die after I'd been shot. They'd all gone crazy anyhow. Our old leader, a fella you probably heard of. Anyway, he more or less lost his mind, went and shot a bunch of people unfair like. I got shot in a robbery. They left me, and I left them. <laughs> well, that's how it goes. <laughs> Already had me a woman. Got me a farm. Then I got me more trouble. Sure. <laughs> I've been sent to track down the men I used to run with. Track them, kill them. Well, if you don't, someone else will. There's no escape. Look at me. I spent 25 years killing men. <laughs> Look at me now, sitting around here like some low-rent would-be messiah. <laughs> We're relics. Come on, have yourself another drink, and let's wallow in a little self-pity. Sounds like a plan. Your health. Mr. Ricketts. Mr. Ricketts, thank the Lord I have found you. And you, Mr. Marston. Will you sit down? You all right? I'm well, sir. But Allende is sending more men to the death. Prisoners who have not been tried. A prominent writer, Castilla, and a local official whose only crime was not putting the small holders on the street when they were late with taxes. Writers and government officials. For once, I agree with Allende. Some men need to be killed. Mr. Ricketts! I was just joking. Where are they? Out near Escalera. Let's hang up our self-pity and go shoot ourselves some bad guys. You're gonna be all right. Thank you. Both of you. All right, man. Let's head for Escalera. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, partner. Come on! Whoa! You must miss your family. It's the only thing that keeps me going. You know, you remind me a lot of myself. How I used to be. Stubborn and angry. You ain't changed all that much. I always thought I'd lived a charm life. I've known wealth, respect, love, even fame. I never read a book or done a day's work. But I had everything a man could want. But now, now that I'm here, I don't know. Do you have a son? I do. Called Jack. Another stubborn and angry young fella. I think that's my only regret, not having children. I mean, I'm sure there's a few brothel boys out there with my blood in their veins, but not a real son. The Ricketts' name will go to the grave with me. All I'll be leaving behind is other dead bodies. You can still be a father. No, not now too late for me but you you still have the time I hope so sir I really do do you think you'll ever go back where home to America no not now the West the West I knew is dying it's not dead already Whoa. Luisa was pretty shaken up she's angry 
this war is getting dirtier by the day. People are being executed for just having an opinion. Melinda seems to have more enemies by the day. Perhaps you would know. Rumor has it you've been making all kinds of new friends. I don't pay much attention to rumors. Just be careful, John. Keep jumping from one side of the fence to the other. You might just get impaled on it. I have to find these two men. With respect, how I do it is no concern of yours. Choose your tone wisely, partner. Remember who you're talking to. How could I ever forget? And who are you, John Marston? Apart from a rat feeding every other hand he can find, my name means something. All you've done is kill a few peasants. And the only real outlaw you've taken on dropped you up your head. Now, I'd politely ask you to watch your tone, Ricketts. All I'm saying is, maybe there's a reason why people around here don't want to talk. You must miss your family. It's the only thing that keeps me going. You know, you remind me a lot of myself. How I used to be. Stubborn and angry. You ain't changed all that much. I always thought I'd live to charm life. I've known well, respect, love, even fame.
Now nah, we'll handle it from here. I know you got other matters to attend to. It's been nice riding with you, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> and you too. You took me back to another time. Talk to Louisa. She'll help you, and she's well connected in that other land. I hope you find what you're looking for, Marston. You know what I'm looking for. <laughs> if you say so, Marston. If you say so.